The Zeus toolkit has been very successful in spreading Trojans, creating one of the larger botnets out there today. This success has not gone unnoticed by competitors, and other up-and-coming botnet toolkits, such as SpyEye, are taking aim in order to knock the king from his hill. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how. We'll start off by executing a copy of Zeus here on the desktop. We also have two copies of Process Explorer up and running. In the first, we'll type the name of the Zeus executable to show that it's running. In the second, let's type the name of the process handle used by Zeus. You can see it's hooked to Windows processes. What it's doing is monitoring the Zeus process, preventing anything from shutting it down. Finally, let's do a quick look for the Zeus executable. As you can see, it's sitting in the System32 folder. Okay, so now we're going to open the SpyEye toolkit and create a new Trojan. With this, let's select the new Kill Zeus feature included in some versions of the toolkit. We've taken care of other configuration options already, so let's go ahead and compile and build the Trojan. Here's our new executable, which we'll launch now. As is usually the case with Trojans, nothing appears to happen, so let's check for it using another Process Explorer instance. And there it is. So let's go back and check for the Zeus process and its protection handles. Both are gone now. We'll do one more check for the executable here, and lo and behold, the file's gone too. SpyEye has successfully removed Zeus from the computer.